Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about jazz chord progressions. There's the 251. We've got several variations of the 251. We've got the the one I'm going to talk about today is the 16251, and that's how to create walking bass lines over this chord progression as well. So that's coming up. Yeah. By now, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for the How to Play Bass online course. I want to play bass, and we go over everything walking bass lines from setting it up, advanced bass lines, <coughs> soloing bass lines. Check it out at I want to play bass.com. And for now, we're going to talk about today's lesson will be on the, the 16251 chord progression. A real popular chord progression. If you want to know more about it, subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification. I've got more, more coming up today. We're just going to go, go over a little bit. I'll give you a walking bass line here with it um, as well. And I've also got a two more songs coming out. Easy beginner bass songs. So let's get on with it. Today we're going to talk about the one six two five one chord progression. A popular jazz chord progression. It has a two five one in it as well, which Almost all of, you know, all of jazz has that two five one. Whether it's a variation of it or what, but it all boils down to the two five one. And if you haven't heard of that, comment down below. Let me know you haven't heard of it. I'll dig into it a little deeper. Or if you have, say yes, you have heard of it, and it just helps me. But I'll dig into it just to give you in case you haven't heard of it. And, and meaning the two five one, meaning say we're in the key of C. Two would be the second of that of that scale, the C major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're just going to call each each chord is going to be a number. So two is the second of that scale, which is a minor, a Dorian mode, a minor triad, minor seventh chord. That's what the door, the, the two is. That's a minor. So so this. Particular, the two would be a minor seven chord if you're walking over it, and the five is the dominant seven. So that's the two, the five, and then the one is the diatonic D, Ionian. So over just a basic two five one it's just you can use the you know arpeggiate the chord so in a d minor chord being in the key of c a d minor d f a and a c so you can just usually just arpeggiate that or you can walk down half the half the major scale to the major scale or um or you can walk back up either way you want to do it but you're Landing your root notes are landing on one on the the D since we're in the key of C. The D is a root note of the D minor seven chord. The G is the root note of the G seven chord, and the C is the root note of the C major seven chord. So you just want to make those your landing point. You want to land on one on those, and then you walk up to it. So that is. Like I said, typical bass line, just arpeggiated. D, F, A, C. Then we go, come right to G, 1. And then you can arpeggiate that as well. You can go to G, B, D. Typically, you'll have one bar of each. And on the last bar, the last on the C major, when you land on the C major, you just hold it for two bars. So it would be something like... Basically that's it. Just gonna hang on a D minor on a two five one chord progression. Just hang on your D minor for one bar, one, two, three, four, and then G, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four.
that'll be your 251. But today we're talking about the 16251. It's no different when we start. We use the 1, the major. Go to the relative minor, the A. That's the 6th. 1, the 6th chord. That's a real popular one. I mean, you can almost hear that in some of your jazz standards just by hearing the chord progression, just pat the root notes of that chord progression. Can't think of it off the top of my head, but there's there's several of them that just move through those that chord progression. It's a real popular one. So, I mean, if you just take it. give you a little I like this this here's one for you right here Basically, you can just start on the C. down a little bit, you get a little, little pull-offs there, 
adds a little character to it. So that's the 16251 Jazz Chord Progressions. Like I say, if you want to learn more about this or more in depth how you can invert that 251 and the inversions of the 251 to get all kinds of great chord progressions that you hear every day, but they're still 251s, just check out on wantaplaybass.com, sign up, become a member for free, get your free ebook while you're there, and then when you're really ready to get serious about it, sign up for iwantaplaybass.com, the monthly membership, yearly membership, your choice, but, but it's there, and that's what we want to do, we're here to help aspiring bases reach their goals, so like I say, sign up, check us out, subscribe down below first. Lots of good stuff coming out that, you know, it's very helpful and informative stuff. So, again, I'm Donald Witt with IWantToPlayBase.com. Thank you, and see you next video.